Welcome back, and this is a video that everybody's been asking for, and that is how you turn off your bulb out indicators when you swap out your lights. You add LEDs, HIDs, um, you know, you change things up. Uh, as soon as you deviate from what the truck came with, uh, it will start throwing bulb out errors. You can try to use resistors, which sometimes works. Uh, I use resistors on this truck. Uh, I started with quad headlights, and then I switched over to a retrofit. So I was running HID for low beam and high beam, and then I also had a HID or excuse me, an LED high beam uh, in here as well. And then I've got the custom lighting, of course, which you can see here from Diode Dynamics. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff and the resistors didn't wor really work all that well. Um, for the most part they did, but I ended up with like something ridiculous, like 12 or 14 resistors uh, in the truck just to be able to run my headlights, which was a insane um, and still on very rare occasions I would get bulb out errors so using alpha OBD uh, we're going to be turning off uh, those errors and we're going to tell the truck basically that we have HIDs or LEDs um, so that way you don't have those problems anymore and you can take your resistors out now I had resistors for my fog lights my headlights both low beam and high beam the high beams um, and the turn signals and the running lights so I had all sorts of resistors and it was chaos in there, it was wiring hell. Um, but as soon as I installed Alpha OBD and I changed that, the settings in the truck, I pulled all of those out and it's been working flawlessly for several months now. Um, so we'll go through and try a couple of different things for you. Um, because I did switch from the uh, quad headlights to uh, the projector style here, I'm not sure uh, what settings that's gonna mean for you, um, but I'll at least point out the various settings in there so that way you can change them and you can change it back, of course, if you need to. Um, but that way, at least you can drive around and you can use your new headlights uh, with LED or HID without needing to have 10,000 resistors or worrying that your bulbs or your headlights are gonna turn off. Some of you may have noticed that even if you have a bulb out indication uh, on your dashboard and you ignore it, eventually it will cut power. Um, so you could be driving around and all of a sudden your, your headlights will go out because it cuts power uh, thinking there's a short or a problem. So um, really sucks, but we'll go ahead and follow these steps on Alpha OBD. Um, of course, you're going to need your OBD M uh, OBD link MX or MX plus. Um, and then you'll also need the Alpha OBD uh, software and an Android uh, tablet or phone. And keep in mind when you're changing some of these settings, don't change a bunch of things at once, change one setting at a time and then take the key out of the truck, go have a drink real quick, um, but give the truck some time to adjust because if you adjust or change too many parameters all at once, it seems like the truck doesn't save it for some reason. Um, so do one at a time, take a break and then come back and take care of the rest. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is connect your Alpha OBD uh, tablet or phone to your interface. And once you do that, you go ahead and select your vehicle. And then function, we're going to be selecting body computer and control unit. You might have to try a couple different ones. And once you do all that, you can hit connect and it should connect to your truck. Excellent, so now it shows that we are connected. Now on the bottom right corner, you have a few different icons. This, if you hit read system ID, will show you all of your current settings. Uh, the check engine light here, the little check engine will show you any faults. Now go ahead and click on the little icon with the car with the hood open and you'll see this menu here. And from here, you'll go ahead and select a procedure to start. And here's a couple various options here, but we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to click on car configuration change. Then you can go ahead and select option now there's gonna be a couple that I'll point out, but I don't necessarily know if we need to change those yet. There isn't a lot of info out there. Um, so I would try changing some of these other settings before these, but I will point them out as I scroll through. Now the first one here is the high intensity discharge headlamps. Now I don't know if you need to change this if you have HID or LED, um, but keep that in mind if uh, changing the other settings does not work. The other one here is the quad headlamps enable. Now I started with quad headlights and then I switched to projector, uh, but I kept all the wiring and everything the same. I made my own harnesses. Um, so I didn't change this, uh, but again, this is another setting to take a look at and possibly change if some of the other ones don't work for you. Bi Xenon headlamps enable is also another one. Oh, and just so you know, front fog lamp dropout enable is what allows your fog lights to stay on with your high beams because normally they won't stay on when you turn your high beams on. Um, now, some people try a method where they flick the high beam stock, 
a certain way it's never really worked for me um, but also keep in mind that depending on where you live that might not be legal to have six headlamps or forward facing lights on all at the same time now once we get down to the led uh, present settings is where most of our changes are, are going to be made and where I made my changes. So reverse lamps, the stop lamps, the turn signals, all of them are all right there. LED front turn lamps pre present. Uh, of course, that's if you're going to have switchbacks or LED bulbs in the front of your vehicle. Um, so go ahead and enable those. And then the LED low beam and the LED high beam are what I have as shown as present or enabled. Uh, and so that way it's not looking for a higher uh, amperage or wattage draw from HIDs or regular bulbs uh, since LEDs draw less power. So realistically, those are the settings that you're going to be wanting to take a look at and make sure you change. Um, again, make sure you make any changes to the truck that you want to do one at a time and then go take a break uh, because otherwise it might not save it. So make sure you do that. And don't be afraid to change a couple of different things, but make sure you're marking down or remembering what you're changing. Um, you can refer back to your history log, uh, so that way if you change something and it's not working properly, you know the changes that you've made and you know how to go back to how it was uh, from the factory. For those guys out there that have swapped headlights, I would probably try changing these settings first prior to changing the other ones that I showed uh, earlier on in the menu, um, because I think these are where the main, main settings are that you're going to be needing to adjust and change things. And the other thing, um, if you go to the check here, uh, the little check engine, you can read all of the faults and then you can also clear them. So if you have bulb out indicators on your dash, um, don't forget to clear those out prior to changing and after changing all of your settings, um, just to make sure that you don't have any leftover uh, bulb errors or anything like that. But otherwise, that's going to be where you're looking for uh, in the Alpha OBD settings to change your headlights out for LED, HID, uh, swap headlights all together, and you don't want to run resistors because that's super lame. Um, definitely try these out. It should work for you. I went from having full uh, quad headlights to uh, projector with HID, LED, uh, with LED running lights and everything. So a lot of changes, but with this, you're telling the computer what you've done so that way you don't have to trick it. You're just making all the settings and changing them yourself. So that way the truck knows to expect to see an LED or less power draw because it is an LED. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below. Um, and then for the guys that are changing settings and they're working for you, make sure you put those in the comments so that way other guys uh, with similar setups know what they need to change and, you know, other people can see that this is indeed working. And of course, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this solves your issues for uh, when you switch from your regular headlights to LED or HID, or you run completely different headlights altogether. Um, of course, this works for the fog lights and the tail lights as well, which I'll have those in another video. Um, but of course, if you have any questions, put those down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.